Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to put the, together this video to show you the difference between when you enter a bill and when you're just going to enter an expense in QuickBooks, because I get this question quite a bit, and uh, people get a little bit confused on, okay, well, you know, when do I enter a bill and when do I just enter an expense, okay? So entering a bill is only, you know, so if we click on here and go to enter bills, this is gonna be when you get a bill and you have to pay it later, okay? It could be uh, materials, it could be supplies, it could be, you know, your power bill, whatever it is. But let's say you get a bill, you know, in the mail, in email, you get uh, an, an e-bill through online banking, uh, whatever the case may be. Okay, so let's say that this is typically a utility bill, all right? So Bayshore Water, they send you a bill and you get it and you need to enter it because you're going to pay it later, all right? So we go to this enter bills, we put in Bayshore Water, we put in the date of the bill. You're going to put in the bill number. So if there's like a, you know, if they have a, uh, an invoice number or a bill number, you're going to put that in here. Okay. Very important to do that because in case they double bill you, if you put it in again, QuickBooks will recognize and tell you that, Hey, this bill already exists. Okay. It's kind of a, a, a double check on making sure you don't double pay a bill. All right. So then we put in the amount $75 and then we put in the due date. Okay. The 14th. All right, so this automatically populated because we've had this bill before, but you're gonna put it to the right account. So in this case, this is a utilities water expense, okay? So if we pull down the drop-down menu, you'll see here this is an expense, okay? So when you enter the bill, yes, you are entering an expense, but this is for something you're gonna pay later, all right? So if we go in and we say save and close, and we go over here to pay bills, okay, you're gonna see the Bayshore water right here is $75 to pay. And when you go in and pay this, then it will show up in your checking account register uh, as paid. And what I mean by that is it's gonna reduce your, your checking account balance and, and show that it's been paid, okay? So again, a bill is when you get you know, this bill or invoice from a vendor, you owe it to them and you're gonna pay it later, okay? Now, when you have, you know, like a automatic draft come out of your checking account, or if you have a business debit card and you go to a office supply store and you buy some supplies and you use your debit card, okay? That is an immediate transaction that comes out of your checking account and you don't owe anybody any money for that. So you're not going to enter a bill in that situation. All right. So if you're not importing or doing bank feeds or anything in that situation, you're going to go to your check register right here. Okay. So the check register is just like a, say an old fashioned, but like a, you know, the paper check register when you have a checkbook and it, it just really just tracks all of your transactions. Okay, now I've got this on one line. You can do this and it'll show two lines, gives you a little more detail. I like to look at it with one line, okay? So let's say we, uh, let's say there was an automatic draft that came out of the account, okay? We're not gonna enter a bill because that cash left your checking account right away. So in that case, you know, you're gonna look here, you're gonna say the date was whatever date that draft came out of your checking account, number, Okay, so it's not going to be a check number because it wasn't a check. All right, so in that situation, I like to put EFT for electronic funds transfer. Uh, some people like to put debit for debit card. You know, whatever you need to put in here to signify to you that this came out as a draft or a debit card transaction. Okay, so in this case, we're assuming a draft came out and we'll say that this is, you know, City of Bayshore, and we're gonna say that we pay the city of Bayshore for uh, electric for utilities. So if I go down here and I say gas and electric, and let's say that it was $55, okay? So now 
once I do that and it clicks, it's automatically putting it in my check register right here as money that came out. Okay, I don't owe the city of Bayshore that money. It just came out automatically. So that is an expense I'm putting directly into my check register. No need for a bill. Okay, and it's the same thing if I went to the office supply store and let's say I said I want to do EFT and you know office supply store I don't know if there's really one in here but let's just say that an office supply store was patent hardware supplies okay office supplies so I went there I had my debit card and I bought $152.75 of uh, supplies used the debit card paid for it right then I'm going to put it into my check register as an expense because I don't owe patent hardware supplies that money. I paid immediately and it came out of my check register. Okay. So hopefully this clears up a little bit of confusion. A bill is only when you owe that money to a vendor at a later date and a draft or a debit card transaction that comes out of your checking account. You're going to put it immediately into the check register to show your, your checking account balance going down because you spent that money. All right. Any questions, any comments, please feel free below to enter those. Also join us over at the QuickBooks University. We go through all this stuff and clear everything up for you. QBUniversity.org.